I am Homo sapiens. For more than 3 billion years in the history of life on Earth, only single-celled organisms existed. About 550 million years ago, multicellular organisms emerged, which we can easily recognize as animals. However, sponges had already come into existence before that. Scientists have found evidence in their research that at the end of the Ediacaran period, there was heavy rainfall on Earth, which washed away a significant portion of the upper surface into the oceans. This had two effects. First, elements like calcium dissolved in the soil reached the ocean in large quantities, leading to a surge in the development of hard-shelled organisms. Second, the seafloor, filled with limestone silt, rose, causing the oceans to spread over a larger area of the Earth. With the end of the Ediacaran period, the Proterozoic era also ended 541 million years ago. The period from 541 to 485 million years ago is known as the Cambrian period. Plants had not yet appeared on land, and there was no life on land. All life existed only in the oceans. The land temperature could reach up to 60 degrees Celsius, and the atmosphere had 30% less oxygen compared to today. The oceans were abundant with algae and oxygen-producing cyanobacteria, which kept the oceans rich in oxygen. Due to the presence of this oxygen, even though the land was barren, the oceans had a diverse range of life forms. The rate of evolution or development of new organisms was surprisingly five times faster than it is today. Therefore, life on Earth first experienced significant diversity, which is why this period is called the Biological Big Bang. This was the time when the oceans became filled with various organisms. The first fish, the first vertebrates, and the first chordates appeared. The fossil record of this period is full of diversity. This was the time when the basic structures of today's organisms' bodies developed. Trilobites were the most famous marine arthropods of the Cambrian period. They were found in abundance during this time, with 22,000 species, and they lived for about 270 million years. Fossils of trilobites have been found in almost every part of the Earth. Their bodies can be divided into three parts, head, body, and tail. Their external skeleton was hard and divided into several segments, providing both protection and flexibility. Trilobites had highly developed eyes with many lenses. Some had compound eyes. They inhabited various marine environments, including seabeds, coastal areas, and deep seas. Some trilobites were predators, some fed on dead organic matter, and some were filter feeders. The hard exoskeleton of trilobites preserved them well in fossils, helping scientists understand their development and ecological roles. They were found in various shapes and forms, reflecting their diversity. The study of trilobite evolution and extinction provides significant insights into Earth's ancient environment and the diversity of life. The first dangerous predators on Earth developed during this period. Although evidence of one organism eating another is found as early as the Ediacaran period, organisms began developing hard shells for protection. Anomalocaris, a famous giant predator of the Cambrian period, was one to two meters long. Known as the super predator of the Cambrian period, Anomalocaris was a major predator around 520 million years ago. It had a segmented body, large compound eyes, and sharp, saw-like radial mouthparts. Its unique, spiny forelimbs were used to catch prey, primarily trilobites and other small marine animals. The discovery of anomalocaris fossils has reshaped our understanding of early marine ecosystems and the rapid dynamics of predator-prey interactions during the Cambrian explosion. Its well-adapted predatory features highlight the complexity and behavior of early animal evolution. Hakorkthes, 
known as the first fish, developed during this time and is actually considered the oldest known ancestor of humans because the primary structure of the spine was first found in this fish. It's also worth noting that the ancient fish of this time were quite different from today's fish, lacking many of the characteristics of modern fish. Based on the latest research, scientists consider the first jawless vertebrate fish to be agnathans. The development of fish that looked more like today's fish occurred later in the Devonian period, which will be discussed in a future video. The Cambrian explosion led to the emergence of diverse animal classes. Some other significant organisms from that period include Hallucigenia, Opabinia, Wawaxia, Pacaya, and Vecholicolia. The importance of the evolution or development of new organisms during the Cambrian period is unique in the history of life on Earth. Around 541 million years ago, the Cambrian explosion occurred, leading to the rapid development of diverse and complex life forms. The first hard-bodied organisms, such as trilobites, appeared during this time and dominated the Earth's oceans for millions of years. This period saw the development of complex body structures in organisms for the first time, making Cambrian period organisms the ancestors of all modern life forms. The biodiversity and ecological complexity of the Cambrian period have significantly contributed to our understanding of the early processes of life on Earth and evolutionary theories.